Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to Ricky Summer Plays Frostpunk. All right, so what I want to do straight off the bat here is is do a little bit of a comparison. Are we unpaused? Yeah, all right. No, no, I want to slow down, though. So I want to uh, dismiss the automaton and put in some workers in... Whoa! 56 as opposed to 30-something? 30 33? Nah, we're gonna put some we're gonna put some people to work in the coal thumper. We're gonna produce a hell of a lot more coal. It's gonna be great. Okay, uh, does this mean we'll be able to build yet another gathering post around the coal thumper and staff it with more workers? Yeah, maybe. Uh, we've got a lot of engineers now. So how many how many workshops do we have? Is it only the two? Do we actually only have two workshops? Dude, we can build more work Oh, no, 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 we got four workshops. <laughs> I mean, we could build more if we want. Uh, I just want to, you know, properly utilize our engineers. Um, we don't we don't actually need anything right now. You know what I wouldn't mind doing? I wouldn't mind upping our coal to the point where we're bursting. Mechanical calculations. Okay, so what did we get out of that? Well, we got generator power. We got generator range straight up. Hang on, let's go to our heat map. Uh, so generator range is going to allow us to heat the hunter hangers all the way back there, which is going to be fantastic. We also need to find something for our automaton to do, um, unless we just get it to help with, with construction. We could do that as well. Uh, all right, so let's, let's do generator range because it's going to be, it's going to be helpful. <laughs> Our heat's going to go up in a, in a, in a hot second. Oh, we're currently overdriven? That's all right. All right, let's speed on up here. We're doing so well, but I'm also really wary. You know what it means? We're doing so well, it means it, it's it's time to stockpile. Stockpile in the summer, get ready for the winter, even though it is so cold that it's like, it's winter and a half. It's like hell's winter right now. Um, do we have, you know what? I'm gonna say we've got, we've got so many workshops, we can, we can do regular shifts, non-extended. In fact, you know what? That might be a good idea. Uh, instead of doing extended shifts, let's just build more workshops. Y I mean, you know we've got... Can we build another... Oh, we can build another one of these? <laughs> another fighter's pit, pit arena? Let's build Let's build some workshops. Where are we going to build them, though? Uh, maybe, maybe along here. I mean, this is going to be heated pretty soon. So we could build, uh, let me think, because I might want to build more of those blokes. So let me have a look here. Uh, food hunter's hanger, right? So let's put that down. Uh, let's mark a road for it so that we don't forget where it is and then put a workshop down. Ah, yeah, it's, it's, there's going to be some space left over. Food. Yeah, we can't put another one of those in. Uh, you know what? Look, it's fine. It's fine. I, I feel like at this point, I'm kind of past the, the need to be really efficient with my... <laughs> with my uh, circular Lego here. <laughs> we also haven't got any homeless, which is fantastic. Oh! The Londoners steal supplies. Food theft. Someone has stolen 207 food rations from the stockpiles. People are saying it was the Londoners gathering supplies for their journey. It seems this ridiculous idea of leaving for London is gaining traction. Guards may retrieve some stolen food or discontent. Well, no, no, no. We're sending the guards to catch them. Iron Fist. The Iron Fist of the Orc. Uh, let's look at potentially passing a law here. So, hang on. What's our situation in terms of discontent? I do that. Dude, we got like almost no discontent. The guards succeeded. The guards succeeded. Because we're actually the greatest. Okay. <laughs> we're doing so well. This is fantastic. Okay. So, what are our options here? We'll gather each morning to make sure our goal and priorities for the day are clear to everyone. Each morning gathering will slightly increase hope. That's incredible. Ensure safety and order is of utmost importance to the long-term survival of our city. New ability, patrol at the guard station. Each use will reduce discontent. Each use will rise hope slightly. We can do a prison. Uh, those who threaten the stability of our city have to be isolated for the good of us all. Okay, new building, prison, new ability, roundup. 
In the prison used to catch wrongdoers, prisoners will abandon their misguided views. You will have to build a prison and dis discontent will rise slightly. We can afford it, but why, you know? To keep things running, uh, propaganda center. To keep things running smoothly, we need to stay informed about our people's concerns and have a way of spreading the news we want them to hear. New building propaganda center. The propaganda center rise, raises hope, shows detailed info on sources of discontent. Ooh. A uh, new ability, the Propaganda Center can distribute bulletins, raising hope. You will have to build the Propaganda Center and discontent will rise. Not a bad strat. Agitator, Pledge of Loyalty, Forced Persuasion, what? or Foreman. You know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go more than Gathering. It's got no downsides. It's got no downsides. So let's, let's do that. We'll raise our hope because that's the thing. Our, our discontent is... We got, we've got none. The only thing causing discontent is the theft. So we, it's time to play. It's time to, to just buff our hope and, and get to where we need to go. Day 22, by the way. Day 22. Hey, how you doing? All right. The generator is getting, it's getting up there. Make no mistake. It's getting up there. All right. The number one of our two new workshops, Good and Dusted. This is good. This is good. All right. So what else do we need to do? Our food is so incredibly good. We need a resource depot uh, just for our food. But where are we going to put I guess it doesn't really matter where we put it. Um, let's put it there. What does this one hold? That's wood. That'll be food. I'm putting it there because it's kind of in line with our, uh, our cookhouse. It doesn't need to be, you know, inside anyway. So what's the issue there? It's very cold. It's very cold out there. Yeah, because it's got less inherent insulation, I think, uh, than the Hunter's Hangar. So, I if memory serves, it's two. Hunter's Hangar is, is three, yeah. But that'll be sorted out. That's going to be... Uh, we're researching extended range for a reason. All right, so uh, storage for raw food is fine. We just need uh, more storage for rations because it's uh, coming out of the out of our ace. He's got a luck tattoo to his ace. No! No! I thought it should warn me. He was at 79%. The generator has been damaged and is going to blow. We can fix it, but only a child is small enough to fit into its mechanism. Alternatively, steam core could be used to shunt some pressure from a damaged assembly. Send the child. The child will probably die. Discontent will rise greatly. Hope will fall greatly. Use a steam core. Discontent will rise. Let's use it. No, we're using a steam core. We're using a steam core. Wow. All right, I'm going to speed up, but I'm going to keep my eye on it. <laughs> it does raise quickly. Quicker than I, than I remember. Okay. All right. What do we got? Uh, we're following the wide corridor of crushed ice that the American dreadnought, the USS um, Hephaestus, Hep Hephaestus, left in its wake. Does anyone know how to pronounce that? I should look it up. Uh, a triumph of engineering. We marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by the American dreadnought Hephaestus. Soon we might be able to learn how it managed to accomplish such, such feats. We can see a huge silhouette in the distance, which might be its sister ship Prometheus. Okay. Nothing happens. Uh, Icebound dreadnought supply depot. Do we have any resources on these boys? Nothing. All right, let's just go to the Icebound Dreadnought. Let's do it. All right, and head back home and keep an eye on this generator. You know, I want to I wanna get as much heat out of this um, out of this as possible. So we've extended our range now, have we? Mild frostbite, gravely ill, severe frostbite, limb amputation, generator range upgrade uh, mark two or whatever. Losing a limb. One of our people has undergone an amputation. Working in the freezing cold left him with such severe frostbite that there was no other choice. Is this our first? No, this cannot be our first amputation. I kind of wish I'd played this more frequently, you know, but it's kind of... Ah, look, I wish, I wish I had the time to do two videos a day because then we'd be much further along sooner. Um, I just, I just haven't got the time to do it. So... I streamed this a few days ago, so I'm a little bit fuzzy on what I've done. We haven't we haven't got a factory, do we? 
or we might have had a factory, but I, I demolished it. I remember that. So I think we need to put in a factory again. I think we need a factory. Now we do because we need to make a, a prosthesis. So let's put one in there. Uh, it'll it'll be something for our engineers to do. So that's fine. And it fits in perfectly there. Tent. So apparently there's a single tent somewhere that is not a bunkhouse. <gasps> Where is it? Oh, the, oh, that one? You mean that one? Yeah, look. We should probably turn it into a bunkhouse because it's getting real cold with the uh, with the overdrive off. Okay, what are we going to research next? Mm, house, like the full house. It's gonna get cold, dudes. Like, trust me, it's gonna get fucking cold. <laughs> Gathering post insulation also useful. What, what's the cost on these boys? Oh, we can afford it either way. Don't even trip. All right, let's go for the house first. Let's go for that. Oh, God. I love this. I love this. Just this ring of houses. It's so... It's so erotic. <laughs> wow. Uh, inoperative, inoperative, inoperative? Why was it inoperative? Okay. Those are cold. Just for the moment, let's, um, let's heat them up there. Chili, chili, I'm okay with. Let's heat those up. Good to use coal, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just go do it. Uh, so now we've got homeless blokes. Why? Why have we got homeless blokes? Is that... Is that because we're building a home? Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's interesting. So they're homeless while the house is being upgraded. That's kind of cool. The cookhouse is not working because it's it's too cold. Scouts have reached ice, ice bound. Uh, Dreadnought. Okay, most of the machinery aboard the USS Prometheus has been dismantled and taken away. The massive steam hammer used to split the thick ice lies broken by the ship's bow. That's a good word, bow. Calculating genius. The Dreadnought is stripped of useful machinery, but its hulk contains enough steel to justify establishing an outpost here. <gasps> On the bridge, we found a log with Tesla's last orders. Transfer all, all supplies and able-bodied survivors aboard Hephaestus. Take the amputees only if you have prostheses to make them useful. Ooh. Two steam cores? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Snow-covered supplies. Supply depot. Frozen pond. Amy Pond? <laughs> How you doing? Uh, let's go to the Supply Depot. A rusty shack, nothing more can be seen from this distance. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Where's this bloke going? All, all the way over there? Shrouded Cave. Uh, look. Look. We should start thinking about setting up outposts. Maybe. Can we pass a law yet? Almost. We can now pass a law. Okay. Adaptation. Oh, we've got the prosthetics law. We've already got it. That's fine. What else can we pass? Foreman. Here we go. Appointing responsible foremen for men will make sure that people work as efficiently as possible. New ability, foreman, increases the efficiency of a workplace by 40% for 24 hours. With no downside? So this is like an, an objectively better uh, emergency shift. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how many amputees do we have? We've only got one. And we've got one bloke in palliative care. That doesn't sound good. Uh, prosthetics. Let's build... Oh, just... Hang on. Yeah, just the one, dude. Just build the one. Okay. Hey, look. Things are, things are alright. Things are looking up. Explore. This cave is a hideout for some children who were evacuated from winter home. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to our city. And then they made me their leader. Little survivors. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night they teaches, teachers and some hunters took them out from winter home on a secret adventure. Ooh. Ooh. Our teachers told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran out, ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems their ki these kids were evacuated in time before things in their city got real ugly. Okay. Escort the kids to the city. We're going to get 34 children. 
Send the children to the city. Leave the children to their fate. Knowing the way to our city of the children. Not knowing the way to our city of the children will die trying to find it. Listen. Listen, guys. Are the children even going to be useful? It's just more mouths to feed. <laughs> Think about it. If we went the other path that wasn't child labor, we could teach them to work in the uh, workshops and whatnot. But as it is, they just... Children will have to walk to our city on their own. It will take longer and some of them will die. I just want you to know. The only reason that I'm escorting the children back to our city is because you guys are watching. It's the only reason. We, for we, we formed the children into an orderly column and set off towards the city. They walked quietly and resolutely like little adults. The youngest clutching their toys tightly. This is going to be a long journey. Please have enough warm beds prepared for their arrival. See, this is what... See what I'm saying? Um, if we go to adaptation here... See, if we went child labor all jobs... See, I don't want to do that. I kind of wish I went uh, medic apprentices and engineer apprentices, you know? If we did that, then this would have been a really good strat because it's like just a fantastic bonus for everyone. But that's not what we did. So now we're going to build more bunk houses just to house these bloody children. I'm a little bit mad, and I'm going to choose. I'm going to. I'm. I'm. I'm choosing to blame you for it. All right. Okay. <laughs> so what was like 34 children? So we need like we need four houses. We need four houses. Two, three, four. I hate the way this looks. But it's alright. It's just for the kids. They don't need pleasing aesthetics. They just need to survive. Alright, let's speed on through the night. A foreman. Let's do some... Let's, let's do a foreman. Another theft! Captain, the Londoners are stealing again! They've taken 237 food rations from the stockpile. People are angry that the Londoners are putting their crazy idea before the needs of city. Absolutely. Guards may retrieve, retrieve some stolen food or just can... No, we're going to send the guards to catch them. We're sending the fucking guards. I didn't give a shit. I'll, I'll, I will slay Lond Londoners left and right. Okay. Uh, caught in the act. Our guards did a good job. They got the, the goods back. But more importantly, they caught one of the thieves. Now we can put an end... Uh, to the thievery. What should we do with a thief? Uh, let him go, but we'll prepare a place for him soon. You will have three days to build a prison. Do we, do we, do we have that time? Uh, this person will leave the city forever. Our people will decide his fate. Ooh. I kind of want to banish this boy. We got three days to build a prison. I reckon, I reckon that's enough time. Because we got to, we got to pass the law as well. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. This will this will run out soon, uh, and we'll be able to pass another law, and then we can build the prison. Our coal is not great, just so you know, guys. Our coal is not great. Um, how do we make it great? How do we make it great? Well, hey, look, this is a plus. We drop three levels and then two. That's rude. Three levels, so it's gonna be below seventy. I mean, seventy below. And then it's going to go up back up to 50. Fuck. Okay. We can turn... It's it's basically summer right now. So we can... We can turn, turn off some of these uh, heaters. This is fantastic. In fact, are these actually generally just warmer? Yeah, that's... Ah, look. We should turn those on. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, cool. So we're saving a little bit of coal there. We Yeah, we need to fix up our coal. So... How do we do that, guys? Um... Maybe another coal thumper. Hey, uh, alright. We can put our kids to work. 
All right, good thing we got the kids. <laughs> Where are we going to put it? Maybe here. Yeah, I might put it over here. Uh, all right, resources. Coal mine, coal thumper. Slot it in there. And then we'll do gathering post. Gathering post, gathering post. But I might also have to build... Am I going to have to heat that? I'm probably going to have to heat that too. All right, let's get on through the day. What do you got for me, daddy? Supply depot. The shack is falling apart, but its contents still have some value to us. Ooh, raw food. Raw food, a hidden stash? Oh, just a little bit of food. All right. And about 200 something wood. Uh, let's do the frozen uh, Amy Pond while we're at it real quick. Just real quick. Uh, uh, oh, we can't set the kids to work in the coal thumper. Ah, oh, but we can put them in the... Yeah, yeah, we can we can set kids to work in the gathering post. That's fine. It's a safe job. They're just scooping up coal. They're just shoveling coal like kids always uh, uh, were meant to from the very beginning. Hey, how you doing? Get back to work. Shoveling that coal. Yeah, yeah, damn, kids. Uh, all right, we can de-staff the factory because currently we're not doing anything. I mean, we could make automatons, but we don't need to. It's just a waste of steam course. House research. Fantastic. So what now? Resources. Uh, steam coal thumper. Yeah, that could be a good idea. Gathering post insulation. Also a fantastic idea. Yeah, let's do that. We've got so many gathering... We've got gathering posts like out and about now, so we may as well do that. All right. Look, in hindsight, good thing we got the kids because we've run out of children. We've run out of children. <laughs> We got like, what was it, 34 kids? That's gonna be plenty. We'll have some to spare. We can eat some. It'll be great. Hey, how you doing? All right. Um, there we go. Insulated gathering post. Efficient gathering. More. Uh, thanks to advanced workplace organization resources from coal piles. Uh, blah blah blah. We'll we'll gather 15% faster. Yeah. I don't want to do that before we do the steam coal thumper though. Because we're like running low on coal. We're actually almost at like full leaching of the coal. But I think we're in a place that we can fix this up real nice. Uh, our hope is like f fantastic right now. I mean, well, our, our discontent to hope ratio is fantastic. All right. Uh, so we need a prison. We need a prison. So let's sign the prison law. There we go. We got a little bit of time to build a prison. Order prison. Where are we going to put it? Ah, can, we, can we put it out in the cold? <laughs> uh, look, the, the prison benefits from being... I kind of want to put it there instead, yeah. The, the, the prison benefits from, from being under the uh, watchful gaze of, of a tower. I kind of hate this whole situation. It's, it's, just, it's just not locking together. You know what? Fuck it. I, I've, this is like the second time I've demolished a factory. <laughs> We're just not using it. We're just not using it. So let's put the prison there instead. Around where the children are, are going to live. The incoming children. Which is fine. They'll learn a lesson. It's like, hey kids, you don't want to end up in there? Sit tight. Fly right. We're good to go. Okay. Uh, a district... Sorry. Distinct spot in Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further explore exploration. All right. A search hasn't uncovered any. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right. All right, and there's nothing else. Uh, all right, so let's head to the snow-covered supplies, please. The snow-covered supplies. Now, I don't know how far away the blizzard is. The big old blizz. Um, the weirds. All right. Um, pad out all this with children. Have we, have we run... No, we haven't. It's already staffed. All right, cool. Fantastic. So where are we going to go now? Uh, Frozen Grove is really the only place we can go. Perfect. Beacon, what do you got for me? Another theft captain. The Londoners are stealing again. They've taken 267 food rations from the stockpile. People are angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send guards after them, dude. That's so... That, they're just pricks, you know? They're just absolute pricks. Prison built, hope rises. <laughs> yeah. Yay, there's someone to lock people up. It's fantastic. 
And we've run out of humans. All right, it's fine. Murdered on duty? No. One of our guardsmen was beaten to death whilst chasing the Londoners. We caught one of the thieves, but he's not the murderer. What should we do with him? Lock him up. The number of Londoners will fall. Banish him. This person will leave the city forever. Let him go. He isn't the murderer. Discontent. Nah. Lock him the fuck up. Get him out of here. I'm so mad. I'm so mad though. Kind of want some parody there. Like I want it all just, just all workers. Don't want to just some like weird engineer working in the guard tower. It's, it's inappropriate. Engineers in the prison though? Useful because they're probably better at interrogation. You know? Okay. Yes. Uh, I think we need more raw food. People. House. Yeah, we can build houses too. We, we should probably start doing that because it's going to get cold. It's going to get cold. All right. Um, do we have the funds for food? 40 and 40. Yeah, we can, we can afford that. So let's start building out more of these so we can get more raw food. We've got this... Oh, <laughs> we're eating sawdust. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, this is all functioning. What we're researching. The steam coal thumper. So that's going to be more efficient. Uh, let's start building houses. It's going to cost more steel. So let's, let's start with that one because it's out in the cold. Let's start with the ones on the edge, right? Let's start with just that one, though. Because <laughs> the other ones are currently pretty good. I mean, it's going to get cold soon. But for the moment, we're, we're fairly well heated. Our range of the on the generator is, is pretty dank. It could go out a little further. Because those are... Ch chili is alright. Chili is not cold. You know, sometimes... You know, sometimes my house is a little chilly. That's okay. Sometimes I like it. I like the, the chill factor. Uh, efficient gathering, please. Resources. Steam thumper. Ugh. Sounds like my Friday night, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my god, he's so funny. He's such a funny bloke. Alright, uh, 1,120 coal. As opposed to... 560. So it's like, it's basically the greatest. <laughs> Beautiful. What's the issue here? Oh, we've got a sickness. We've got an absence. Listen, we're, we're dealing with the sick. We've got more than enough space for them. It's beautiful. Now, if we can... Do we need efficiency on anything? I don't know. We're kind of just doing real well. We're doing real well. Our food is, like, getting up to the threshold as well. We could use another... We could use another one of those. Uh, where did I build it? Here? Is that it? That's a bunkhouse. Where's the... There it is. Resource depot. Yeah, is there an upgrade to... to Larging up the resource depots. Uh, fault in the system. Sir, a man is protesting in front of the prison, screaming at the top of his lungs about the abuse of our potential... Sorry, our penitentiary system. Who are they locking up? He yells at anyone who passes by. Criminals or innocent people who dare to speak up? Think about it. What should we do with it? No, but yeah, but see, you're not speaking up. If you just get go out in the street and say... Oh, if you, if you start... If, if you call a meeting with me and say, Hey, yo, dog, I got concerns. Talk to me like a human being. Don't just be a penis and so discontent you know it's like it's like when when someone goes oh look i'm not going to confront this person because i because they assume that they're just going to be how do i put this like you got a problem with someone and instead of talking to them you weasel around their back because you either either through fear or you assume they're going to act in a in a way that is you might get to make you upset. But dude, more often than not, if you just deal with, if you just talk to someone straight, then you're going to sort something out. You're going to come to some sort of understanding. Like if the Londoners came to me and say, hey, look, you know, no offense, but we want out. Can we negotiate for some supplies? I say, all right, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe I will. If we can, you know, maybe we come to a compromise. Maybe you work real hard to get us the extra supplies and then you can have them and go. That would have been all right. Instead, we're going to have to kill this poor guy. <laughs> Arrest him for rowdiness. This man will go to prison. Hope will fall. Ignore him. Discontent will rise. You know what? Let's ignore him. 
let's ignore it for the moment because we can afford some discontent and we can we can enact some laws that can lower it it's fine gather around kids for the moral morality hour with ricky summer all right the snow uh, covering the crates is deep but we're sure uh there are some valuable supplies buried down there raw food i'm happy to get some raw food lost supplies shoveling through the snow we discovered several crates full of supplies there's no telling who might have lost them here only ah mouse sensitivity uh only 40 raw food but that could lead to something good uh stone ship ruined warehouse let's go to the warehouse let's go to the warehouse here um speed on up here no no it's just it's gonna be night time uh coals coals dropping Ball's dropping. Ball's dropping. That's not great. That's not great. Can we maybe we maybe we do a, a form and efficiency strat? Oh, cost ten food rations. Ah, ah. There it is. There's the catch. There's the catch. Now we don't need it. It's just me being greedy. Me being impatient. We don't. We don't need to up our. Re like we're so close. As soon as the day ticks over, we're gonna we're gonna have that research. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Um. So, hey, you know what? Hey, you know what, guys? Thank you very much for watching. Taste the game, be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Ricky Summer, out.